Hello everyone, here's another Photoshop tip. I'm just going to show you how to save. What I tend to do is go to File, Save As, and then choose a selection. Now, if you save it in Photoshop, what it will do will save all of your layers, typically called a PSD. So if you want to retain any layers that you've got, in your picture you may have 10 you may have 20 it depends what you've been doing to your picture um, it will save it as a Photoshop document a PSD however if you wish to export it out to a JPEG or something else uh, you need to select the format and choose one of the options now there's various options there um, to give you a basic rundown is the obviously the CompuServe GIF which is quite a small um, internet based file obviously JPEG is well renowned and is used most of the time PDF is a Photoshop file um, and obviously there are other formats there a TIFF is also used it's quite handy that tends to basically do a similar job to JPEGs except it's a slightly different compression method um, and obviously PNG now if you don't know what a PNG is it's basically takes the image and makes it applicable to be used on websites um, it typically doesn't include details such as backgrounds it's very handy to use a PNG if you're doing stuff on the web or you want to create a logo and you don't want to um, copy the background into your logo you just want a plain logo that would go into the internet and it would obviously have a white background or something like that um, so that's just a basic rundown on the various formats obviously there's more to it um, but it depends on your usage and what formats you prefer to use um, so the reason I've come to here is to talk about JPEGs really that's just to give you a rough roundup of the various formats so JPEG you can export that um, and save it when you do save it it will give you an option to save it at various levels and it will obviously give you an indication of the size of the file now this is a 10 megabyte file from a 7D camera so if we had the quality set to 10 it would give us 5 megabytes in file size you can obviously reduce that by the level for example 5 would reduce that to 1.1 megabytes um, just be mindful that when you reduce the quality of the JPEG compression it will reduce your quality so keep that being in mind and hopefully this was helpful to you thank you